I'm Liz Clayman with today's Clayman Confidential. I'm with Wilbur Ross, W.L. Ross and Company Chairman and Chief Strategy Officer, who predicted consolidation in the shipping world. You were always concerned about the South Korean shipping giant Hanjin. Now you've got these ghost ships that are in bankruptcy protection. I'm going to ask you very pointedly, if somebody picks up the phone, calls you and says, I'm the repo guy, and we don't know that this will happen, but I'm going to offer you big shipping, these big uh, shippers, pennies on the dollar. Would you bite? If, unless they were right around scrap value, no. And, and the reason is a pretty simple one. The container industry has been struggling for a long time, and it's getting worse. They keep building bigger and bigger and bigger vessels. And I have this nightmarish vision that one day the vessel will go all the way from a Korean port to L.A. shipyard, L.A. port, mm -hmm. and then you won't even have to move the thing. You just push containers on one end and they get off on the other end. <laughs> I mean, and that's how exaggerated and silly it is. And uh, we don't have an economy, nor does anywhere else in the world at this moment, to support filling those. Well, that's right, because they've overexpanded. Even if world trade were growing at a more robust rate than it is, I don't think it would have been able to keep up with these gigantic vessels that are coming on the water. Ship owners, I've learned, are a little bit like real estate developers. If someone will give them the money, they'll build the they'll next project. It, whether anybody needs it. Uh, Wilbur Ross, not yet ready to go into severely distressed ghost ships off the coasts of California. Thank you so much. By the way, watch my full interview with Wilbur on LizClayman.com and watch Countdown to the Closing Bell every weekday, 3 p.m. Eastern on the Fox Business Network.